Well, that was a game where everybody was on the edge of their seats going into that game because it was a match where Manchester United, if they won that game, would have gone top of the Premier League by six points ahead of Liverpool only a year, less than a year after that we finished 24 points behind them in the league. Instead, it turned out into a game where it finished nil-nil, a game where, I'll be honest, I think Liverpool will be happy with that result. I think Manchester United and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will see that as an opportunity lost because they had Jordan Henderson as a centre-back. They had Fabinho as a centre-back. They had Shaqiri as a midfielder. And Thiago Alcantara as a midfielder. A midfielder that has never played together with each other. A defence which is just not a defence. Two central midfielders is a defence. That, that was an opportunity for Manchester United to take, which they did not ultimately take. And it, 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 I think that's, that's probably going to be what United fans take away from it. And ultimately, it, it's semi-disappointing. And I, I think that goes to show how far... United have come as a team. But yeah, <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. I really genuinely don't because, as I said, that was a game where, for me, there was, there was more opportunity there for Manchester United than there was for Liverpool. In the idea that this was the chance for United to properly announce themselves back on the top table in the Premier League. To be really right there at the top and to show against the best team in the league, the current champions, that we are there and we can compete, not only compete against the best teams, we can, we can beat the best teams. In that first 25, 30 minutes, it was all Liverpool and it was very, very difficult for United to do anything in that game. We, we struggled to maintain possession of the ball. We really struggled to do anything, really, in that first half of the game. Uh, if you compare that to the second half of the game and then certainly the last 20 minutes, United were far better. In the last 20 minutes, if any team was going to score, it was going to be Manchester United. And, and we looked far better in that last 20 minutes. Cavani came on for Martial in the 60th minute. I thought that was a good substitution, I'll be honest. I would have started Cavani from the first whistle. I thought his presence there would have really caused the likes of Henderson and Fabinho a lot more problems as a centre forward than someone like Martial would, who is typically a player that will drift slightly wider rather than hanging as a proper centre forward. But Ole Gunnar Solskjaer made his decisions and ultimately a draw there doesn't kill any, kill any of the consistency or the momentum that we had. But it was just... I would consider today an opportunity lost, as I said, because because of the fact that you've got for, you've got Henderson and you've got Fabinho as those two centre backs. You've got Thiago and you've got I mean I can't remember the fucking midfield anymore. That's that's how little I care about Liverpool's team. But you have Liverpool's team was there for the taking. Thiago and Shakiri in midfield, and United today with our full team. We have Pogba there. We have Fernandez there. We have Fred and McTominay there. So many questions were asked about Lindelof and, and whether Bay should come in or not. But ultimately, it wasn't really a decision which cost or won United the game. It was a semi-irrelevant decision at that point. But I'm, I, I, I leave that game slightly deflated. Uh, deflated from the idea of, uh, of the opportunity that lay in front of us and the opportunity that I don't think we really properly try to take advantage of and that is a uh, for me it's, it's a bit of a disappointment because the players were there Rashford with his goddamn offsides is really really pissing me off now I'll be honest it, they're, they're not offsides that uh like Javier Hernandez when he's on the shoulder of a defender and he's trying to get behind the last man it's Marcus Rashford can just look along the line and just make sure that he's not offside but he just does not do it it's a bit weird and it, it for me it's it's he just needs to improve his football intelligence and realise that when he's on the last man and when to make the run. But somehow he doesn't. But that's a sort of separate point altogether. But tonight and today, sorry, United fans will be, I think we'll be happy for the fact that we didn't lose to Liverpool there. That we, we've, we've held on to that three-point lead because now we are the team to chase. From this point onwards, we don't play Liverpool again. We are the team that, as long as we don't fuck up, they can't chase us. And it's a different mindset and a different position to what this team and this squad has been in for their entire United careers, really, under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. It's a different thing altogether. So let's see what happens next. 
Ultimately, today against Liverpool, we couldn't come up with the goods. For the first 25, 30 minutes, they were all over us, but they didn't have the real threat. They didn't get the goal. After that point, the game sort of settled down into what you would have semi expected. And then for the last 15, 20 minutes, we looked far more threatening than Liverpool did. But it ended nil-nil. So there's not really much of a talking point. Let me know who your man of the match is, who, what your feelings about the game were, anything you think that Solskjaer did right or wrong or any players did right or wrong. Let me know what you think in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. But the main thing you've got to take away from all this is we're still top of the league and we're still top of the league by three points. And that is what we have to take as a mentality going forward as a club.